Welcome to a micro video looking at uh, some of the key supply and demand factors influencing the market price and quantity of steel. So in this video we'll look at demand factors, we'll focus on the concept of derived demand, we'll revise supply factors and look at some examples of what can cause changes in equilibrium prices in the market. Uh, the biggest steel producer in the world actually is based in Luxembourg, ArcelorMittal, was ranked as the world's biggest steel producer in 2018 by some distance, producing just, uh, just under 100 million metric tons worth of crude steel uh, that year. Notice, for example, in this chart how many of the biggest steel producers in the world come from China, Japan uh, and South Korea. Most of the demand for steel at the moment is focused uh, in emerging Asia and Oceania. So in particular, of course, fast growing countries such as China, Vietnam and others. So a lot of the steel production is, is uh, being uh, diverted, focused, concentrated in the fast growing Asian economies. In the UK, in contrast, um, although steel output or use may be increasing, the total production of crude steel in the UK, of course, has been falling sharply. Better years in 2013, 14, 15, but can you see the level of steel production in the UK fell sharply uh, from 2014 through to 2017. Indeed, the future of several steel plants, of course, has come under question. Now, why do I choose steel as a market for revision? Because I think it's one of the most used metals in the world across many industries, and therefore it's a great example of derived demand. People Businesses, governments demand steel, not for its own sake, but for the uses to which steel can be put. Classic examples include house building, residential, commercial, big uh, commercial construction projects. Of course, steel is used in vehicle manufacturing, in lots of infrastructure projects, be it new transport infrastructure, power supply, bridges. Steel is used, of course, in millions and millions of household appliances. And crucially, of course, as part of globalisation, you'll be familiar with the steel container, so the logistics industries. Uh, make a lot of use of steel. So steel has a very strong derived demand. Global demand for steel is sensitive to the world economic cycle. What are some of the key factors affecting industry demand for steel in the UK? Uh, well, there's a cyclical demand, as we just said. So you'd expect the demand for steel to rise and fall according to the economic cycle. Nice link there between micro and macro. Also, government spending plans also have quite a big effect. If the government is going to build more hospitals, more schools, increase transport, infrastructure investment, more flood defence systems, etc., uh, clearly that's going to lift the demand for steel as well. The scale of new house building in the UK will also be a factor influencing total demand for steel, as well as, well as the price of related products. And of course, in this example, we'd focus on steel substitutes. Now, those substitutes might include engineered timber, or perhaps metal composites. What about the supply side? Well, uh, the supply side of the market, of course, is the ability of steel producers to manufacture steel at a given price in a given time period. The main factor has to be the price of the key inputs in making steel, including labour costs, obviously, but fundamentally uh, the cost, the price of iron ore globally, of course, a key input in making steel. For the UK, the exchange rate also has a diff makes a difference. We typically import a lot of steel or steel inputs. So if a fall in the pound, for example, against the dollar would increase the cost of steel coming into the UK, as would the imposition of trade import tariffs. Three other factors worth mentioning. The, the supply of steel must be influenced by productivity in the steel industry, the efficiency of manufacturing. Typically, higher productivity increases supply because it reduces the unit cost of production. And in the long run, uh, the supply is influenced by the ability of steel producers to exploit and benefit from economies of scale. Increased scale of production normally increases the, the supply potential, as does, uh, hopefully, technological change, process innovation in the way in which steel is made. So some of those are some of the key uh, supply factors in the market. Let's quickly look at four examples of what might cause a change in the market price for steel. Uh, don't forget in the exam to contextualise your diagrams. So on the y-axis, not just the price, but the price of steel, e.g. pounds per tonne, and the quantity of steel 
bought and sold on the x-axis so assume the supply curve is upward sloping and the demand curve for steel is downward sloping in the market and an initial equilibrium price of p1 q1 here are four changes to have a look at the first one increased government infrastructure spending what do you think is going to happen to the market for steel if you want to have a think about this press the pause button on the video well infrastructure spending of course is going to add to the demand for steel maybe steel used in making new bridges or in the building of new hospitals or transport links so the demand for steel will shift out to the right shifts out to d2 and other factors remaining the same keteris paribus the market price will go up from p1 to p2 and the quantity will expand uh, from q1 to q2 our second change is a rise and increase in the world price of iron ore what do you think is going to happen to the market for steel here well iron ore of course is an input used into production so an increase in the world price is going to lift increase the costs of steel producers therefore supply of steel will shift to the left there will be a fall in the supply of steel to s2 with a given level of demand that's going to cause the price to go up the quantity will contract from q1 to q2 two more changes two more examples how about the impact of technological improvements in the manufacture of steel well better technology improved cutting edge technology presumably helps to increase productivity and efficiency and reduce waste and therefore the costs unit costs of supply go down hence the supply of steel will shift out to s2 let's say and that means the, the price of steel should come down from p1 to p2 and demand expands from q1 to q2 final example a recession in the uk construction industry perhaps a downturn in the building industry fewer homes being built or perhaps fewer commercial properties being uh, projects going ahead but if there's less output in the construction industry uh, that presumably means that the demand for steel will shift inwards fall in demand for steel to d2 other things being the same output will contract from q1 to q2 and the price of steel will fall from p1 to p2 just a few simple examples there of what might cause a change in the price of steel Indeed, the steel prices projected in the UK, HRC, is hot rolled coil steel. You learn something every day. Prices forecast to fall quite sharply in the next uh, couple of years in the UK. Uh, sorry, globally. The price of steel is forecast to fall globally from about just under $600 per metric ton down to just over 530 That's quite a big fall. Why are steel prices forecast to fall in 2020? Well, uh, let me give you three factors. One is the world economy seems to be slowing down a little bit and as we said the demand for steel is cyclical so the world slowdown will reduce the demand for steel we can't ignore the impact lingering impact of those trade frictions the the trade war that china and the united states seem to have got locked into which is damaging uh, trade in products which use steel fewer exports of those kind of products and more generally within the world industry as a whole there is excess capacity there is a greater capacity to supply than there is currently demand and in that situation we'd expect surplus capacity to bring down the world price of steel so there we go hopefully you found that a useful little look at some of the microeconomics of the steel industry